Unveiling the heart of your electrical system, Main Distribution Board, MDB, explained. Welcome back, electrical enthusiasts. Today, we're about to unveil the heart of your building's electrical network, the Main Distribution Board, commonly known as MDB. Join us on this electrifying journey as we shed light on what an MDB is, why it matters, and how it keeps your lights on and devices powered. What is a Main Distribution Board, MDB? Main Distribution Board, MDB, is a distribution board that fulfills all the functions of a main electrical distribution for the supplied area assigned to it, and where the voltage is measured for operating the electric supply system for safety services. The main distribution board is a low-voltage switchgear that is installed in a building or its detached part. The MDB is used to distribute electrical energy between the distribution and final circuits, connected to it in the entire electrical installation of a building or in some part of it. By means of the switchgear and control gear installed in the MDB as well as the protective equipment, the electrical circuits connected to it are protected and controlled. The main distribution board in an installation will also normally provide a main switch, known as an incomer, which switches the phase and neutral lines for the whole supply. Main Distribution Board Components The Main Distribution Board, MDB, is an essential component of an electrical power distribution system, and typically includes the following components. 1. Main Circuit Breaker the main circuit breaker is the first device that power from the utility or generator passes through on its way to the rest of the building. It provides a means of disconnecting the entire electrical supply to the building or facility. 2. Bus bars. Bus bars are metal bars that conduct electrical current and are used to distribute power throughout the MDB. They are made of materials such as copper or aluminum and are arranged in a configuration that allows them to distribute power to multiple branch circuits. 3. Residual Current Devices, RCDs RCDs are devices used to protect against electric shock caused by electrical faults in appliances, wiring, or other equipment. They work by detecting small leakage currents that can occur when a person or object comes into contact with an energized part of an electrical system and will trip the circuit breaker to disconnect the power and prevent electric shock. 4. Metering Devices Metering devices are used to measure and monitor the electrical power consumption of the building or facility. This information can be used to manage energy usage and reduce costs. 5. Surge Protection Devices Surge protection devices are used to protect the electrical equipment and systems in the building from power surges and spikes, which can damage or destroy sensitive electronic devices. 6. Enclosure The enclosure is the outer casing that houses all the components of the MDB. It provides protection from contact with live parts, as well as from environmental factors such as moisture and dust. MDB Basic Requirements 1. A TNC system shall not be used downstream of the main distribution board. 2. The electric source for safety services shall automatically take over if the voltage of one or more incoming line conductors of the main distribution board of the building with the main power supply drops to less than 85% of the nominal voltage and during more than 0.5s. 3. The MDB should be located in a building. Only then can its components be guaranteed reliable and long-term operation, as they will be protected from the adverse effects of the external, outside the building, environment. 4. The minimum degree of protection provided by a main distribution board enclosure against mechanical impact, if necessary, shall be defined by the relevant assembly standards. Mechanical impact tests, where required by the specific assembly standard, are to be carried out in accordance with the test requirements of the specific assembly standard. 5. The degree of protection provided by any MDB against contact with live parts, ingress of solid foreign bodies and water is indicated by the IP code according to IEC 60529-1989, IEC 60529-1989-AMD1-1999 and IEC 
60529-1989-AMD2-2013. After installation in accordance with the MDB manufacturer's instructions, the degree of protection of an enclosed assembly shall be at least IP2X. The degree of protection provided from the front of a dead front assembly shall be at least IPXXB. For assemblies for outdoor use having no supplementary protection, the second characteristic numeral shall be at least 3. 6. The apparatus and circuits in the assembly shall be so arranged as to facilitate their operation and maintenance, with the required protection against electric shock. 7. Hazardous live parts shall be completely covered with insulation that can only be removed by destruction or by the use of a tool. 8. The insulation shall be made of suitable materials capable of durably withstanding the mechanical, electrical and thermal stresses to which the insulation may be subjected in service. 9. Paints, varnishes and lacquers alone are generally not considered to satisfy the requirements for basic insulation. This does not preclude the use of specifically designed insulating coatings that fulfill the dielectric requirements. 10. Air insulated live parts shall be inside enclosures or behind barriers. The enclosures or barriers shall provide a degree of protection of at least IPXXB. 11. Horizontal top surfaces of accessible enclosures having a height equal to or lower than 1. 6M above the standing area shall provide a degree of protection of at least IPXXD. 12. All exposed conductive parts of the main distribution board shall be interconnected together and to the protective conductor of the supply or via an earthing conductor to the earthing arrangement. 13. A protective conductor within the MDB shall be designed so that it can withstand the highest thermal and dynamic stresses arising from earth fault currents in external circuits supplied through the assembly in its installed location. 14. In the case of a main distribution board containing structural parts, frameworks, enclosures, etc. made of conducting materials, a protective conductor, if provided, need not be insulated from these parts. Conductors to voltage-operated fault detection devices, including the conductors connecting them to a separate earth electrode, shall be insulated when specified by their manufacturer. This can also apply to the earth connection of the transformer neutral. The role of an MDB in electrical distribution. Imagine your building as a complex web of power-hungry devices. The MDB ensures a seamless flow of electricity to different areas, be it lighting, appliances, or machinery. By segmenting circuits, the MDB prevents a minor issue in one part of the building from affecting power supply elsewhere, enhancing both safety and reliability. Ensuring electrical safety. Safety should always be a top priority when it comes to electricity. MDBs play a pivotal role here. They incorporate safety features like RCDs that detect tiny imbalances in currents, swiftly cutting power to avert shocks. Regular maintenance of the MDB ensures these safety features are in top-notch condition, offering you peace of mind. What is the difference between a consumer unit and a distribution board? In the United Kingdom, a distribution board designed for domestic installations is known as a consumer unit. Consumer unit may also be known as a consumer control unit or electricity control unit. A particular type of distribution board comprising a type-tested coordinated assembly for the control and distribution of electrical energy, principally in domestic premises. Incorporating manual means of double pole isolation on the incoming circuits and an assembly of one or more fuses, circuit breakers, residual current operated devices or signaling and other devices proven during the type test of the assembly as suitable for such use. And there you have it, the main distribution board demystified. From its role in managing electrical flow to its contribution to safety, MDBs are the unsung heroes of your building's power infrastructure. Next time you flip a switch or power up a device, remember the MDB silently working to make it all possible. If you found this video enlightening, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more electrifying insights. Stay powered and stay safe.